Hi. Have you seen a good ship to sink? There's a great oil tanker off the coast of Somalia. That's a great idea. Let's get a drink first. Okay. You're buying? Hey, you look pretty relaxed. You must have had a great summer holiday. Are you ready and raring to get back to work? Thanks. You look pretty good yourself. In fact, I'm quite excited to start teaching. Have you seen the data projectors in the classrooms? Wow. That is going to be neat. I was feeling quite good until I saw those data projectors. I'm not sure it is a good idea to have technology in the classroom. Whatever are we going to use computers for? Well, you have a point. I think most people will just end up putting their notes on PowerPoint. Yikes. Death by a thousand PowerPoint slides. Or endless YouTube videos. Hum. That is what I am afraid of. We need some training, don't we? Or perhaps some DVDs to use with the course books. I don't how I could use the internet in class. Well. I've been reading a bit on the internet. There are lots of interesting ideas to try out. It would be great if we can try different techniques and then share our experiences. That's a great idea. Dindy mentioned that she was going to set up a blog for us to share ideas. I heard that Steve was going to join us as well. It could be an exciting year. Right. Let's join Dindy's blog and volunteer to be authors. We can share our ideas and experiences, and learn from others as well. That's an excellent suggestion. I'll do that tomorrow. Who knows, maybe teachers from other countries will see what we are doing and join as well. That would be neat. Okay. I'll join too. It would be great to get feedback from our colleagues, wouldn't it? And maybe we can connect with teachers from other corners of the world as well. Hi Danielle. Thanks for agreeing to do this interview. I'm teaching ENG 311 this term, and my students are reading about you and your career path. Thanks for inviting me, Steve. I hope your ENG 311 students can learn from my experience and they will be able to choose a career path that is right for them. Can you tell me why you chose to become a physicist in the first place? Was there any pressure from home? school or society's expectations that influenced you? No. In Western society it isn't important to find a job with a fancy title or an office with a window. And the salary isn't important. As long as you have lots of holidays. So, having a fancy title or earning a decent wage didn't affect your career path? The common illusion about the primary importance of salary did not influence your career path? On the contrary. After I graduated I spent a few years working, but I wasn't earning enough money, which is the most important thing in life, so I studied to be a banker. And what did your friends and family think about such a drastic change of direction in your career path? Everybody supports me. They need money, so they want me to give them low interest loans. My career prospects are very limited. Life is simple I just make lots of money. So, what is your advice to my students? Should they find a job that suits their personality? Makes them happy? Should their career plan include career fulfillment? My advice? Don't focus on internal feelings. Focus on money. No need to be flexible. Learn to do one thing really well. Work for one company for 30 years and retire. Then have fun.